Hello and welcome to Global Armenians on CivilNet. Joining us from Amman, Jordan is photographer Haray Sarkisyan, whose work is now part of the permanent collection at the Tate in London. Haray, welcome to CivilNet. Well, thank you. Hello. Tell us about this exhibition that just opened at the Tate. Uh, this exhibition, it's uh, it's the they renew the permanent collection at the Tate uh, at Tate Modern every few years. So this is uh, and this is part of that process where they included my work, uh, which is called Execution Squares. In they purchased this work a few years ago in 2010, and they included in this uh, exhibition. Harari, why why these squares? Um, why did you choose to photograph these squares? The story of the squares is when I was 12, 13 years old. Uh, it was 6:30 in the morning. We were going to to school in a bus, and next to my parents' uh, house and shop as well, there is this big square. And and uh, when I was in the bus, I suddenly just I encountered these three hanged bodies. Uh, hanging in the middle of the square, uh, naked, but they were covered with white sheets and they were looking at me. And this image I would, uh, I mean, I couldn't forget since then, it's, it's always in my, in my head and whenever I pass by the square, it's the only thing I see. The first thing I see is these three hanged bodies. How old were you? I, I was... 12, 13 years old. And where was this? This was in Syria? In Damascus. It was in Damascus. Uh, it was in 1987-88. And before that, had you taken pictures? Because uh, I, I believe your dad was involved in photography? Yeah, my dad is, uh, is a photographer, yes. No, this, these photos were, not, were taken in 2008. But before, yeah. at the time when you saw the bodies, were you also, had you delved into photography at the time? Or is it no, something I was that not. I, I used to go to my dad's shop in the summer holidays to work. I spent my childhood in, the, in his uh, shop, actually. So when did you start picking up the camera and actually taking photos? Um, when did you decide that this was your passion and your vocation? Well, I think the passion I had it since I was uh, a kid, because I, I used always to look at the magazines that my father brought home. Just It was all in French. Of course, I never understood the word, but I kept browsing at these magazines and look at photos and, and going to the shop also in the summer. Uh, it just created this love relationship between me and photography. And uh, that's how it started. I started to take pictures. It was quite late, not, I think, 1995 or 1998. And with the exhibition at the Tate, what this collection, what is it that you want to communicate by showing us, the public, the, the places where people were killed? The idea behind this project was with photography because photography is used as a medium to, to prove. So I tried to prove myself that these bodies don't exist anymore by taking these pictures of these squares without any installation of these uh, hanging platforms or the bodies themselves. But it didn't work out for me. That was my, uh, my approach to these uh, squares. Uh, the, the image that you had in your mind's eye is this haunting, uh, so you want exactly. pictures. You've also done uh, some other personal projects, the three Armenian projects you mentioned. Tell us about those. The most recent one is called Unexposed, done in 2012, where I, I went to Istanbul and I photographed families, individuals who convert, uh, who their ancestors were forced to convert into Islam during 1915 genocide. And then this, their second, third, fourth generation, of course, after the death of Rand Ding, they started to realize that they have Armenian roots and with the help of like foundations such as Agos Foundation in Turkey, they, they start to find out that actually they were Armenians. So I decided to do this project. I went to Istanbul and started, of course, it took this whole process took three years to find people. So it was always it's, it was very difficult to find them because they all live uh, uh, hidden. It's, they never announce in public that they, they, are, they have Armenian roots or they converted into Christianism. So what they do is they go to Armenian church in Istanbul and some of them they go abroad because the Armenian church in Istanbul would not accept them to convert. So uh, they, they get baptized and uh, with, and they get an, an Armenian name. Now, where can we see all of these images? Where can we see your work? 
Well, at the moment, you can see them only on the website, but I, I've shown this work uh, uh, beginning of this year uh, in Marseille. And uh, uh, the work was commissioned also, uh, partly commissioned by uh, um, Marseille 2013 uh, Capital Culture uh, City. And uh, at the moment, the, the, the we are, I mean, I'm not showing this work. Uh, I will show it, uh, no, actually I will show it in Athens, at the gallery, Kalfayan Gallery, which represents uh, my work. And it w the opening will be on the 28th of September. Fascinating projects and congratulations on being part of the Tate. Uh, let's give out the uh, address for your website, Herair. What is the website address? My address is herairsarkisian.com. Thank you very much for your time and we look forward to more of these moving images which speak volumes about our experience as humans and as Armenians. We look forward to all of your images coming in the, in the years ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. And thank you at home for joining us on Global Armenians. We'll see you next time.